person same guys look at this here the purpose is also same so i can even write here donut chart is used to visualize categorical data when you have less values even donut chart also used for same purpose guys donut chart is used for visualizing categorical data when you have less number of categorical values the purpose of pie chart and donut chart is same so take the pie chart here in the pie chart i'm i'm showing category wise sales when i'm showing category wise sales drag the category to legend drag the sales to values so i can go to the format i can stop the legend i can change the label style so i already show a pie chart and where i am showing category wise sales this time client is asking to show category wise profit when client is asking to show category wise profit even category is a categorical column so you already use pie chart so if you keep if you take another pie chart here it will not give better look this time i can try with donut chart some people will like to see the data in the pie chart some people will like to see the data in the donut chart so even donut chart will contain same field wells when i take the donut chart here if you observe here it contains same field wells legend details values tooltip same field wells there is no difference there is no difference legend details values tooltips there is no difference so in, in the pie chart also you will see same legend details values tooltips in the donut chart also you will see same the purpose of the pie chart and donut chart is same and even the field wells also same field wells also same now in the donut chart i want to show category wise profits category wise profits tell me where to drag category category is a dimension column first dimension column always into the legend profit is a fact column first fact column always into the values always into the values just go and drag the category here just go and drag the profit here and you can format it how i formatted it same way i can format it go to the format stop the legend and go to the detail label change the label style to category comma data value now you are showing category wise sales here here you are showing category wise profits here each category how much profits you are getting some people will like to see the data in the pie chart some people will like to see the data in the donut chart but purpose is same both the visuals whenever you have less categorical values you can use any one of this any one of this and so same guys even if you want to drag the second dimension column like region you can drag it to the details if you want to drag the another fact column you can drag it to the tooltip i want to show quantity also i can drag it to the tooltip i can drag it to the tooltip so like this it is showing category wise region wise profit and quantity profit and quantity values right a profit here here right so problem so when it is a negative values it will not show properly no no worries let me remove it profit i'll discuss so category wise profits you are showing okay now the field wells are same so first two field wells are for dimension columns second two field wells are for fact columns how the pie chart in the pie chart we will keep the field wells same way we will keep the field wells in the donut chart also and even the formatting options will be same general legend and data colors detail labels one extra formatting option you will find is shapes so one extra format so here when you when you see here you don't find shapes here so when you, in in the donut chart you will find one extra option called shapes except that remaining all are same formatting options title background lock aspect border shadow tooltip visual header same formatting options right now one extra formatting option you are seeing is shapes what is that shapes is you can reduce this inner white space you have inner white space right you can reduce it or you can increase the white space if you want to increase the white space you can go to the shapes you can go to inner radius you can reduce it you can reduce it or you can increase it or you can increase it like this so if you want to reduce the inner radius or if you want to reduce or if you want to increase you can go with this is shapes so as you have some white space here we can utilize it i have a uh, category wise sales i have a pie chart here donut chart in donut chart i am showing category wise sales category wise sales i i can go and stop the legend i can change the label style to category comma data value now okay 
here you have some white space you have some white space here why don't you utilize this white space you are showing each category by sales so why don't you show total sales in between 2.3 million is the total sales right we can show it in between so as you have some white space you can you can keep uh, uh, some number there let me keep some number there let me add a border for this first let me change the color to light so I am taking one card visual in the card visual I'll keep some sales column I'll reduce the size of this number or I can go to the formatting I'll, I'll stop this I don't want to write it as sales I can stop and I can stop category label and I want to re reduce the size of this number data labels let's make it to 30 fine now bring it and keep it exactly somewhere here now I want to uh, I want to send this visual clients they don't want to understand that we kept a card visual here on top of it so they just want to think that we are showing something here naturally so they don't want to know that there is a visual in the background so here this time when I select it it is coming back what I need to do is I want to send this card visual background to the pie chart I want to send this card visual to the background to the pie chart a donut chart donut chart to the donut chart background I want to send it so they are not supposed to understand that there is a visual in the there are two visuals here so to, they don't want to understand there are donut chart and card chart, card visual so I want to send this visual background to this donut chart to do that select this visual go to the format in the format you'll find an option called send backward or send to back so click on send to back when I click on send to back I send that visual to the back now no one will able to see what is there now what is the use you send it back now I am not able to see that number I'm not able to see the 2.3 million there now what is the use so what happens is for every visual will have a background color you will have a for every visual you'll have a background color background is on and the background color is white color so for this donut chart currently we have a background color and that background color is white that white background color is stopping my background visual there is a background visual a card visual this white background is stopping that visual you can just go and stop the background when I stop the background so now I am able to see 2.3 million no one can understand what is there in the background they don't know that there is a visual in the background they think that somehow we are showing this 2.3 million and that total says 2.3 million each category how much we are getting right so as you have some white space you can utilize it you can utilize it so how I utilized it let me rebuild it again just observe I'm just taking a donut chart here and in the donut chart I'm trying to keep category by sales drag the category drag the sales go to the format stop the legend change the label style to category comma data value as you have some white space here why don't you show total sales here if I want to show total sales here create one card visual and go and drag the sales value here and let me format it just I want to do some basic formatting like stopping the category label changing the number size to some 30 once you change it resize it have a small size and keep this exactly where you need it I need it exactly here and I want to send this visual background to my donut chart when you want to send this visual background to your donut chart how can we send it if you want to send it just select this visual go to the format tab in the format tab you will find an option called send to back send to back click on send to back when I click on send to back now this visual will go to back no one will know that there is a visual right now so the background color of any visual is white by default the background color of any visual is white that background color is stopping me to show the background visual so if you stop this option you can see what is the total sales here what is the total sales each category what is the sales right so and you can even go to the shapes you can control it if you want to increase the white space so till where you want you can increase it you can control it. fine so donut chart is also same as pie chart there is no difference in the purpose there is no difference in the field wells 
there is no difference in the formatting options except shapes except shapes we understand what is shapes any questions about pie chart and donut chart i i miss how you you made the 2.3 million appear two times i explain it uh, eric sorry sorry i i kind of like got carried away sorry fine so how you can bring it is uh, our donut chart will contain some space we can start utilizing that space here my donut chart have some space here so in the space you are showing each category based profits in the in the space i'm planning to show what is the total profits we have in the space what is the total profits we have if you want to show want to take one card visual and you want to drag the profit column just drag the profit column it will show complete profits now i will do some basic formatting here go to the format stop the category label and decrease the number size let's make it the number size to 25 so i reduce it and where i want this i can keep it somewhere where i want exactly i want this exactly somewhere here and once you kept it people can understand that there is a visual here they, they are not supposed to understand there is a visual here so if they don't want to understand you want to send this card visual background to the donut chart when you want to send this card visual background to the donut chart go to the view tab view tab sorry guys go to the format tab in the format tab you will find an option called send to back you need to go to format tab you will find an option called send to back when i click on send to back that visual will send to background now no one will see that there is a visual here now I'm not able to see that visual because of every visual will have a background color of white. When you go to the visual, you have background on and the background color is white. That background is stopping me to see that number. You want to stop that background. When you stop that background, I can see the total profits and the total profits, each category, how much it is contributing, you can see it around that. Got it, got it, got it. The next visual is a tree map, guys. In the same category, the next visual is tree map. Tree map visual. Tree map. Tree map visual is also used for tree map visual or tree map chart. Tree map visual is used for presenting the categorical data. Tree map visual is used for presenting or visualizing categorical data when we have medium number of categorical values. Tree map visual is used for visualizing categorical data when you have medium number of categorical values. Number of categorical values. So if you have around five categorical values, pie chart or donut chart will help us. When you have medium number of categorical values, then you want to go with the tree map visual. Look at this. I'm taking a pie chart here. In the pie chart, I'm trying to show subcategory by sales. Drag the subcategory and drag the sales. When you try to show subcategory by sales in a, in a pie chart, I'm not able to read all the values properly here.